Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this lecture, we will discuss about the methyl red test that is also called MR test. Okay. So before studying principle, we will study about the procedure because once you understand the procedure, it would be very easy uh, to understand the principle. Okay. So let's start with the procedure. So uh, once we get specimen in the laboratory, we inoculate it onto the suitable uh, medium okay culture plate and then incubate it and then after incubation of 12 hours we found the suitable colonies on the petri plate and mark them from which we perform gram stain and after that we can predict whether our bacteria is positive or whether it is negative so we have already discussed about the positive one biochemical reaction right now we are discussing about the negative ones biochemical reaction and in which we will study about the methyl red test okay uh, once we know that our bacteria is gram negative then we perform different type of biochemical reactions such as methyl red Bogus prosker uh, urea hydrolysis and many more in this we will study about the methyl red test okay so moving further now what we will uh, do in methyl red test we will take out the suitable colony from this petri plate okay and pour that colony in peptone water and from this peptone water what we will do we will take the medium okay for this methyl red test we take glucose broth phosphate glucose broth okay our actual procedure of biochemical reaction starts from here okay this one was the basic thing that is routinely performed in the laboratory and actual process starts from here we have peptone water in that peptone water we already inoculated our colony that we have to detect that we have to further diagnose now what we will do we will take out that uh, colony from this peptone water okay means we will take one inoculating loop uh, or we will take the straight loop and uh, dip that loop and uh, dip that straight wire into this peptone water and then uh, dip that similar straight wire into this glucose uh, phosphate glucose broth and then incubate it again for 12 hours or overnight okay then after incubation what we will do on the next day we will add in this peptone water we will add methyl red indicator or methyl red reagent okay that is commercially available in the bottles MR reagent we will add few drops of this MR reagent maybe three to four drops of this MR reagent into our this phosphate glucose broth okay now what will happen there would be two results there would be two results okay either color change into red or either color change into yellow after the inoculation of MR reagent into this pep, uh, glu phosphate glucose broth if it converts into red color okay if it converts into red color then it means it is positive and if it converts into yellow color it means it is negative and methyl red test is positive for few bacteria such as escherichia coli means if it uh, if the color is converted into red color then we can predict that our specimen uh, this specimen that we used in the starting may uh, contain E. coli or the person is suffering from E. coli infection and if it comes yellow that means if it is negative then there may be presence of Clapsilla pneumoniae 
in the specimen or the person is suffering from clapsula pneumonia uh, like person is having uh, the bacteria clapsula pneumonia because of which he is suffering from some diseases now next we have to share is its principle right so basically methyl red test is based on the principle of fermentation fermentation now you know that we have used here culture medium that is phosphate glucose broth as the name indicate phosphate glucose broth means glucose is present and glucose is a sugar right glucose is a sugar that can be fermented okay that can be fermented there are some bacteria for example e coli that can convert that can ferment this glucose into strong acids bacteria like e coli have its ability to convert this glucose or to ferment this glucose into strong acid uh, such as lactic acid acetic acid and formic acid okay and this acid would maintain the ph up to 4.4 and when this ph is maintained in this phosphate glucose broth and when we add this mr reagent this mr reagent because of this ph this mr reagent would change its color and convert into from yellow it would change its color to red okay mr reagent has original color of mr reagent is yellow but because of this ph it would convert into red color and if there is presence of clapsula pneumonia means the glucose would not be fermented into glu uh, strong acid and in this case in this clapsula case the mr reagent would not be able uh, it would not be it would not get its accurate ph for the conversion of its color and it would remain it uh, into its actual color that is yellow okay so this is all about methyl red test let's have a quick revision that is we uh, get this specimen in the laboratory we immediately streak it on suitable culture medium plate and then incubate it for 12 hours um, after the incubation we get our colonies from which we detect whether the colonies are gram positive or gram negative if they are gram positive then we perform different kind of biochemical reaction that i have already discussed in our last videos and if it is negative then there are few more biochemical tests from which one is methyl red test and in methyl red test we take medium phosphate glucose broth from phosphate uh, in phosphate glucose broth we add our colonies then incubate it for 12 hours then after incubation we add methyl red indicator to the phosphate glucose broth because in phosphate glucose broth the glucose is fermented into strong acid because of which the ph is maintained up to 4.4 because of the acidic medium methyl red indicator changes its color from yellow to red if it's convert into red color then it is predicted that there may be E. coli is present, and if it remains yellow, then it is said that there may be a presence of clapsula pneumonia. That's it. Thank you.